This video will explain when and how to replace and reissue an SSL certificate from Sigtigo. Let's start by looking at when you should replace and reissue an SSL certificate. Information on an issued SSL certificate cannot be changed. For this reason, you'll have to replace and reissue your certificate if any of the following apply. You change your domain server, you add or remove a domain from a multi-domain certificate, you change your company's domain or add a domain, you change your company's registered name, address, or phone number, you want to remove the additional FQDN that your SSL certificate comes with by default, or if you have revoked a certificate due to a security breach and want to issue a new one. Replacing and reissuing can be done an unlimited number of times until the term you purchased for the certificate expires. Replacing and reissuing does not interrupt security on the domain. Start by logging in to your admin account from the Sigtigo website. Click Login, then Customers, then enter your credentials and click Login. Under your Active Product Services, click the name of the certificate you want to work with or click View All and then select the certificate from the list. Click the Reissue Replace Sigtigo Certificate button. You must always generate a new CSR and private key every time you replace or reissue an SSL certificate. This is especially important if you are reissuing the SSL certificate because of a security breach. Paste the new CSR in the text box and click the button at the bottom of the page to continue. Identify the DCV method you want to use and again click the button at the bottom of the page to continue. If this is a DV certificate and all the information is correct, the replacement certificate will be issued as soon as the DCV is completed. For OV and EV certificates, entering the new CSR and DCV will trigger the validation process where we re-verify your organization's information. Find more information about CSRs and DCV in our video, how to set up a new security certificate and get it issued faster. If you are replacing and reissuing an OV or EV certificate, because you are changing your company's registered name, address, or phone number, this information must be validated by Sectigo. Your next step is to create a support ticket to expedite the validation process. Note that if you only change the admin contact on your account, but leave everything else the same, you must also create a support ticket, as shown in the following demonstration. But you do not need to replace the certificate as well. When you create a support ticket because you're changing registered company information or the admin contact, choose Account Changes as the reason for the ticket. Sectigo can process your changes much faster if you provide the certificate order number as well, but if you don't have that information, you can provide the certificate serial number instead. Here's how to find the serial number using the Sectigo website as a generic example. Of course, you would go to your own domain instead, and then click the padlock icon in the address bar. This looks a little different in each browser. Click Certificate if you are using Chrome. Other browsers require you to click a link or button that says something like View Certificate or More Information. When the Certificate window opens, choose the Details tab, then click Serial Number. Copy and paste this number into the description field on your support ticket. After you submit a support ticket for account changes on an OV or EV certificate, Sigtigo will send a verification email to the address for the admin account, as well as the five standard default email addresses associated with your Sigtigo account – admin, administrator, hostmaster, postmaster, or webmaster at your domain. Follow the instructions in the email to confirm the requested changes. You will receive a confirmation email when any required validation for your account changes is complete and or when the certificate has been issued. One last technical note for those with multiple servers. If you have multiple servers on the same platform, you only need to replace the CSR and private key on one server 
and then export the certificate to the remaining servers. If you have multiple servers on different platforms, convert the certificate format to the type required by each server, and then export the certificate to the remaining servers. If you require assistance with replacing and reissuing a certificate, consult our knowledge base. If you still require further assistance, create a support ticket on our website choosing Certificate Technical Support as the reason for the ticket.